Alrighty. Um, I'm going to read um, Esther chapter 4. Mordecai persuades Esther to help. Um, when Mordecai learned of all that he had all that had been done, he tore his clothes, put sackcloth and ashes, and went out into the city, wailing loudly and bitterly. But he went only as far as the king's gate, because no one clothed in sackcloth was allowed to enter it. In every province to which the edict and order of the king came, there was great mourning among among the Jews with fasting, weeping and wailing. Many lay in sackcloth and ashes. When Esther's eunuchs and female attendants came and told her about Mordecai, she was in great distress. She sent clothes for him to put on instead of his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. When Esther summoned had Hathak, one of the king's eunuchs, assigned to her to attend her, and ordered him to find out what was troubling Mordecai and why. So Hathak went out to Mordecai in the open square of the city in front of the king's gate. Mordecai told him everything that had happened to him, including the exact amount of money Haman had promised to pay into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. He also gave him a copy of the text of the edict for their annihilation, which had been published in Susha to allow Esther and explained it to her and he told him to instruct her to go... go, What's my place? Hang on. Uh, yeah, he also gave him a copy of the text of the edict of the annihilation, which had been published in Susha, to show to Esther and explain it to her. And he told him to instruct her to go to the king's presence to beg for mercy and plead with him for her her people. Hathak went back and reported to Esther what Mordecai had said. Then then she instructed him to say to Mordecai, all the king's officials and the people of the royal provinces know that for any man or woman who approaches the king in the inner court without being summoned, the king has but one law that they be put to death unless the king extends the gold scepter to them and spares their lives. But thirty days have passed since I was called to go to the king. When Esther's words were reported to Mordecai, he sent back his answer. Do not think that because you are in the king's house, you alone of all the Jews will escape. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your family's father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. Then Esther sent his reply to Mordecai, Go, gather all Together all the Jews who are in Susha and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day, and attend my servant and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. If I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went away and carried out all Esther's instructions. So that was Esther 4 from verses 1 through to 17. At um, Big Park Lesson Centre.
watching I'm watching the tennis yeah it's nice really nice sunny day there's children playing tennis over there but not filming them too much So it's um yeah it's just after 6 p.m. on the 2nd of February. It's, uh, it happens to be my birthday. <laughs>